hello, we are anonymous. This announcement is regarding justice for Clayton Miller. We know the Justice Minister of Nova Scotia has sent the required medical documents to the Provincial Medical Examiner for a review based off a letter sent from Mayor Cecil Clark. Anonymous and the public would like to thank you for doing this but Anonymous and the public hope this is done in an unbiased manner and thoroughly. We have 24 years behind us stating it won't, but we know who the medical examiner is. Dr. Matt Bose is a man of extraordinary experience and has done over 5,000 autopsies over his career. He has plenty of experience, but was appointed by the Nova Scotia government. A man of that stature and experience shouldn't be swayed or intimidated by corrupt others. He needs to take his time and thoroughly examine all the facts. This is not a rush job. Mr. Bose, you have the world's support in this review. So, my message to those who were involved in the original case, and those members in power such as government officials is as follows. Do not stick your nose in the medical examiner's evaluation of this case. Remember, all it will take is for us to seek a second opinion elsewhere. There are too many inconsistencies, and none of it adds up as to why it has gone on this long, until Anonymous became involved in September. Now, Mayor Cecil Clark, for someone as a mayor who has nothing to hide, why couldn't you answer the messages from the public? Facebook is a tool not just for you to use to announce things. It is a social media tool for everyone to use including asking questions. If you cannot answer those messages, then maybe you should refrain from posting. You haven't even gone publicly to answer the questions asked, which leads us back to our original question from our first video, why when you were Justice Minister of Nova Scotia couldn't you start this investigation on your own if you were so concerned about the case? You do realize deleting that message on your page did not help your case regarding the Miller's ongoing investigation. It has literally now made you look like you have something to hide or don't care. A prime example is when Kyle Moore from ATV News phoned the mayor and asked for a few minutes, he then went to meet him and was told by someone that he is going by his letter. As well, you seem to be okay with saying it shouldn't be a problem that the newest member of Cape Breton Regional Municipalities Police Commission has a brother on the local police force. You have stated and I quote, in a smaller community, and in Cape Breton, you're going to have that from time to time, where people have relations, unquote, and this was after the municipality's nominating committee approved the appointment of Leonard Shaw to the commission. Mayor Clark also states and I quote, the issue is really about what level of information and what would constitute a conflict of interest, especially if there's matters around budget or collective bargaining that would come into play, but it's up to the individual to declare a conflict." Unquote. Mr. Clark also stated Shaw is replacing Phil Best, who has two cousins on the force. Two cousins. I see an issue with that. That's a conflict of interest in most places. Mayor Clark also stated that it was not a problem in the past and I quote, and in the normal course of the police commission's work, most of that stuff will not get into the day-to-day, -day, operational aspects of the policing requirement unquote. Most of that stuff? Really? Stuff? Clearly Mayor Clark, this stuff, has been a problem in the past, especially when the commission mostly deals with police programs and policies, including provincial initiatives. Policies which have not been followed through in the past which is why we are here. The Miller case hasn't been exactly an initiative now has it? No. It hasn't. The commission heard from Police Chief Peter McIsaac and Municipal Solicitor Dimitri Kakafanas that there are no rules preventing a police officer's family member from sitting on the commission. Well I think we need some rules regarding family sitting on commissions or other levels regarding your force. The past will always come to bite you, and now that the public know something is wrong you may want to change that. We also understand that you have since locked your Facebook page down and removed all posts relating to the Miller case. Why? Anonymous had to get involved when we saw what was going on. There are people all over the world including the Philippines and even Thailand who have seen our first video. I suggest you make this happen and support the family and answer questions. Not block them and the rest of the public. 
yes you asked for a medical review and yes it is happening now. That was the first step, but blatantly shutting out the public and not supporting the issue will only make you look bad. Anonymous knows way more than you think we do. You have no idea. We release our info when we want based on our action plan. Actions speak louder than words Mr. Clark, unless it's an anonymous video where words speak louder than actions. Our next announcement will deal with the force on duty that night when Clayton went missing. You Chief Peter McIsaac will be involved as well. We are painting a picture for the world to see based on pure facts and all of you are our colorful paint pigments. This should have been dealt with 24 years ago but it wasn't. Anonymous and the public are here now to do what you wouldn't. Before we go, Anonymous would like to state the following to law enforcement and the government. We are getting closer to revealing information that is more and more damaging with every video, because it was never brought out to an audience that the Millers and the local media could reach. We reach worldwide. Anonymous will not tolerate harassment by law officials in any form regarding this case to announce or the medical examiner while he does his important work. Doing so will automatically insinuate you are guilty by still trying to cover up any mistakes, injustices, or criminal activities you may have been involved in regarding this case, and you will be exposed even more by other anons. Our information is shared network-wide by different means we will not divulge to protect our information, but hear this. We are here to help those who have been treated unjustly by the judicial system and law enforcement and thus will only show you are covering up even more. You will be exposed by other anons and the public in an even bigger way by your blatant actions. We have the public's support. We have the family's support. We have other anons' support. You in general do not, based on your past history with this case. We have freedom of speech, and we are exercising those freedoms in Canada and are doing nothing illegal. Remember that before you knock on our doors or approach the medical examiner. It will be a massive mistake, and will show you are hiding something even bigger. Anonymous and the public will not rest until the family knows exactly what happened and the proper charges are brought on those involved and are sentenced. You should know this by now. We are relentless in answers and justice for Clayton Miller and his family. We are not a joke and neither is this case or the unfortunate situation you have put the Miller family into. As I said previously, an election is looming nationally. You have upset the public, and the hive. We are anonymous. We are a legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.